hey guys, we're gonna have a haul. It's gonna be fun and quick and easy. And at the very end of the haul, I'm gonna have a little story time chat with you. I've got some things to tell you. There was something that happened when I was doing the shop with me that is like crazy disgusting. Um, and I wanna tell you because who doesn't like a good gross story? Um, I'm gonna save that for the end though. So if you're just here for the haul, you can watch that and then you can back out towards the end if you want. But if you wanna stay and chat with me, we're gonna talk about random stuff and this gross story at the very end. But in my shop with me, I took you guys to um, Big Lots World Market and we also went to Home Goods. I didn't take you inside Home Goods because my Home Goods is like this big. You can barely fit a cart down the aisle. So I didn't wanna be in there with like my camera bothering people. But I did pick up some stuff that I'm gonna show during the haul. So let's just jump in, okay? Um, all right, let's start with stuff from World Market first. So um, on Hillary, Hillary's uh, Vlogmas, I think her channel name switched to Old World Home. I'll link her down below. Um, she shared these log cabin maple syrup containers. And as soon as I saw it, I had to like bebop in and get on this really quick. If you've been following our family for any length of time, you know that we are cabin obsessed. We cabin hop several times throughout the year. I photograph and review cabins as well. So this is just like perfect. This would be a perfect gift coming from us. So I picked this up and then on the shelf next to this, they had this. Um, I, I picked up several of these. I'm going to give this gift to a few different people. Um, but I picked this one up, the waffle mix in Southern Pecan, or do you say pecan? I don't know, I say pecan. Um, I also got the cinnamon bun, which sounds really good, and the gingerbread. So these will be going together in some sort of a really cute packaging. I wanted to go to Dollar Tree today to find some stuff to kind of fluff it up, but I have a sick little home with me. He's actually up in my bed watching a show right now resting. So fingers crossed we get through this without interruptions. Um, but I'm thinking like a spatula with like a mixing bowl or something. I'm not sure yet, but I did find the cutest tags to round out this gift and it says something like we hope you have a flipping wonderful oh no because that kind of would be like a flipping and that way would kind of sound like you're trying to say the f word wouldn't it that that would be fun maybe for some people but it said this it said we hope that your christmas is something to flip about yes not we hope you have a flipping good christmas <laughs> <laughs> Which that could work too. Okay, so I got that. That's going to be gifted to a friend of mine as like a family gift and then a couple people at my work will receive that as well. And I also at World Market picked up this daily calendar of dogs. So we have a border collie, so this looks just like our Brady boy. I love it. Um, a friend of mine, I gave her something like this last year, but it was the dogs of Instagram version. And um, this one, it looks like they have a little story under each picture, which the dogs of Instagram did not. And I kind of like that you get to kind of learn a little bit more about what is going on in this picture and maybe who this dog is. So it seems like people submitted their personal pictures of their dogs and then people voted on it and then those were added into the calendar. So I gave her this last year and she loved it. She said that she kept it in her office and she had so much fun going in every day and ripping through the calendar each day and she would walk the pictures around the office and share them with the other dog lovers. And I really wish that I picked up another one of these because I think my boys would love having this in their bedroom. So I might have to hop on Amazon and see if I can find one for us for the house. Anything else from World Market? No. Let's go on to Home Goods. Okay. At Home Goods, I found this really cute stationery set. So the front of it says North Pole Mail Letters to Santa. I'll see if I can show you what's included in it. I mean, I could probably just open it because I am keeping it for myself, you know? Let's open it. Oh. It's even cuter when you open it. I'm glad I opened it for you. So now you can see. Look, it's a little box. That's so cute. You can save that. All right, so inside. Oh, okay, this is the cutest. It's addressed to the North Pole. So this would be what you um, write your letter and put your letter in a, like a little stamp and then you just smell it. And that is the address to the North Pole. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. So as you can tell, it's a kit for my kids to write letters to Santa on. And it comes with all the stationery. Um, this one says from the desk of Santa Claus, the North Pole. They give you a set for 
for Santa to write a letter back to the children. So maybe he would leave it on Christmas Eve um, and he could use this stationery. It's so cute. It has his little seal down here and it has like a little bit metallic like the Santa Claus part and this little candy cane around the banner is metallic. So it has that, it has several different ones. So you could, if you have multiple children, you could have one for each child. Um, it has stickers, so the ways to kind of seal the envelopes. And it has these, this says, to Santa Claus, 25 Candy Cane Lane, North Pole. <gasps> okay, maybe this is the one. This is the one that they put their own. I don't know. You get the point. But there's there is stationery for the kids to write a letter to Santa on with stickers and special envelopes. And there's a set for the parents to write back as Santa Claus to the children. And then it has these awards like the um, Nice List Award. And then it has a Naughty List Award. Warning, Naughty, you better be good for goodness sake is what it says. This is so cute. I kind of want to go back and see if they had another one of these because this would be fun just to kind of have for next year. Oh, I love this. So that was $5.99. And then from this same line, um, I was trying to see if it says, okay, so this company is called Design Focus. If you want to look them up, I will look too and see if I can find a link for you in case you're wanting to get your hands on one of these sets. So I found these and I was so excited. For those of you who don't know, sorry I'm having to readjust. My knees are getting, I'm old, my knees are getting a little sore. Um, I'm a preschool teacher, a part-time preschool teacher, and during the holidays we have wonderful families who do such sweet things for our school and staff. And we always like to have thank you cards to write back to the families. Um, well, these are Christmas themed thank you cards and they are so cute. Should I open them? I'm not gonna open them because they have glitter, it's gonna get everywhere, but maybe I can just show you this way. The penguin, when he opens, when you open his little arms, it says thank you right here, which is so cute. And then the Santa, he folds out too, and it comes with stickers and envelopes. And these I thought were really reasonably priced. They were only $2.99 and you get um, 12, 12 cards. So this was a good deal. I'm gonna try to find this stuff for you guys because I think this is beyond precious. Okay, was that all? No, 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 we got one more thing from Home Goods. Have I been saying Home Goods or have I been saying Marshalls? I tend to do that. So if I've been saying Marshalls, I mean Home Goods. So um, I picked up this blanket. I love it. I love that you can leave it out all winter. I love just like the simple gray and cream check and it's all packaged up cute, but what I love the most about it is that it's big. I'm 5'9", so I'm tall, and a lot of times throw blankets are not long enough to cover me. Either they can cover like the top part and my feet are hanging out, or vice versa, it cover my, covers my legs and I don't have like enough to cuddle around my face. So this year I wanted to get us some very big throw blankets that our whole family can use, and maybe like a cup, like one for the boys to cuddle under and one for me and my hubby to cuddle under. We have these really cute baskets underneath our coffee tables, which I thrifted by the way. And I use those for different things, but this winter I thought it'd be fun to fill them with really cozy, comfy blankets. So I was really excited to find this one and it's very large. It's actually, is it a queen or a king? It's a queen, so it's 90 by 90. Um, it was $30 and it's just a very thick, soft flannel. Here's the thing though, and I'll show you in a second why I've changed my mind. I am doing a gift exchange for our family, like a white elephant thing with like my mom and brother and those the, that type of family. Um, and I think this would be so good for the gift exchange. It would be good for boys and girls, um, for different age groups. Everybody can use a nice blanket. So I may put this towards our white elephant gift even though I love it a lot, but they had a ton of these at Home Goods. So if you like this, you can probably find one at your Home Goods. They had different colors as well. They had black and red. They had a really cute black and red check that whenever you flipped it, it was like a pine green on the underside, but they're all made by this company. So look for this tag if you like this blanket. So there's that. That is all of the Home Goods stuff. Let's go on to Big Lots. I love Big Lots. I feel like nobody talks about Big Lots. At least in my little world, I don't see Big Lots m mentioned very often. But they do seasonal stuff so well. They do stocking stuff so well. They're really good for like little knick-knacky type stuff. 
Oh, and their Christmas ornaments, did you see in the shop with me? They have the cutest Christmas ornaments. The, like a little package of them. I do so many things with those. I add them to um, gift baskets. It's like a little topper. I add them to gifts. I, of course, put them in our tree. I will show you that. I'm going to take you on a little tour of the tree later on. So you're kind of seeing a little peek right now. Um, but a lot of our stuff on our tree is from Big Lots. So I went in there looking for stocking stuffers for my five-year-old, my four-year-old, and just like gifts to kind of fluff out some things I'm trying to put together, like gift basket type stuff. And I found some really good things. So I got this for my niece. It's a little onesie with a cat head on it. She is a, a cat person and a dog of family lovers. Um, this was only $15. It's very soft. And she's tall and long-legged like I am. And I like that. It doesn't actually have the footy part because I feel like if you're tall and have longer legs, like the feet would kind of get like restricting. So it actually cuts at the ankle so that her feet can be free. Um, so they had a unicorn, they had a cheetah, they had all kinds of different ones, but I picked up the cat for her. So I think she'll like that. And then I didn't bring it here, but at World Market, I also got her some eye mask, like under eye mask, a lip mask and a face mask. And I'm gonna package it all together. So it's like a cozy little uh, night at home. Um. Okay, let's talk about blankets some more because that's a lot of what I have right now around me, your blankets. Um, we are doing the Christmas mailbox with my boys and if you are not really sure what that's about, I will link that down below, but it's just a tradition that we do every um, Christmas season. So one of the days I'm gonna put tickets in there to go see the new Wreck-It Ralph movie, whatever it's called, like Breaks the Internet or something. And our movie theater gets really cold and my boys, I always like, they take their jackets and put their jackets on their legs, but I thought it'd be fun for them to have like little blankets that they could take. We don't have small little blankets for them that aren't like cumbersome to take into a theater. So I saw these at Big Lots and thought they would be perfect for that. So the day that I put those movie tickets in the mailbox, I'm gonna put these in the mailbox with it so they can take these to the movie. The print is so stinking cute. Let me see if you can. the camera will pick it up. Kind of, you can kind of see it. Come on camera, don't look at my face. Look at this cute blanket. I think you can see it, it's hard to tell. But it's gnomes, little gnomes all over the blanket. So this isn't specifically a Christmas blanket. We could really use it anytime. And honestly, if it was Christmas, I would still use it all year. I don't really care, but it's cute. And it was only $6. $6. They have so many prints. They had a really cute penguin one also. So I got one for each boy. And then in regards to the whole blanket thing and wanting blankets for baskets underneath my coffee table. My coffee table is right behind you, which is why I keep pointing this way. And I'm looking at the baskets right now. So um, when I was at Big Lots, I saw they have tons of blankets at Big Lots. And they have some that are on pretty like a pretty good sell right now. But again, I'm looking for large and in charge blankets. Ones that you can really just like wrap all the fabric around you while you're cozy on the couch and watching a movie or reading a book. And I found this one. It's already opened. It was wrapped really cute like this one is, you know, with like a ribbon and all folded all nicely. Uh, but we ripped into this as soon as I got it home. It is so soft. A lot of times this soft kind of material, there's a certain kind where if you wash it, it starts to kind of clump together and then it doesn't feel as soft as it does when you first got it home. This one's not going to do that. Do you know what I'm talking about? There's a difference between this type of fabric um, they had one that I also thought about getting. It's really soft. It was like a faux fur, but when I pulled it a little bit, the fur was coming out everywhere and that would just be annoying. So I was really excited to find this and I just like a good neutral basic print. So, um, we've been using this a lot and then my little guy, he's sick. So he was actually laying right over here on that couch all cuddled up with this blanket today. And that's perfect because that's exactly what I wanted to get stuff like that for. Just something to have so that we can cuddle in the winter. Um, I think that's it, that's it. That's all that I can show you. I did get some stuff for my boys stockings, but I'm gonna do a whole separate stocking stuffer video and I'll show you that stuff later. And there's just some other like bigger things that I don't have here to show you right now, but you got to see some cute stuff. So um, let's get to the chat part of this whole chatty haul thing, okay? So when I was in World Market, this is kind of a gross story, but I'm gonna tell you. When I was in World Market, I had to go to the girls' restroom. And I was wearing some sort of like, maybe a jacket with like a hoodie on the back or a sweatshirt with a hoodie. I had something that was like hanging back here. So when I was going to pull my pants up in the potty, from the potty, my hoodie knocked over their like, 
bathroom spray stuff. They had two cans of bathroom spray on the back of the toilet and my hoodie knocked it over. When it knocked it over, the cans went like whoa, 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 like flying in the air and hit their toilet bowl cleaner, like the actual thing that you clean the toilet bowl with. And it was sitting in this like little circle thing, you know, the thing that keeps it upright. And all the yuck water from whoever's cleaned the toilet and just stuck it back in there is like hanging out in that thing. Oh, you know where I'm going, right? So that spray canister, air freshener, whatever, hit the toilet bowl cleaner. The toilet bowl, um, what, why can't I talk? What is that thing called? This thing, you clean a toilet bowl, like brush, toilet bowl brush, whatever it's called. Then that went flying in the air. The canister that was holding all the disgusting water, it went flying in the air. It splashed on my face, on my shirt, on my pants. I could feel it soaking through my pants like on my legs, on my hands. I just stood there, I was like, <gasps> like I couldn't move and I was just kind of like looking around, what do I do, what do I do, what do I do? I didn't wanna go home, this is how gross this is. I did not wanna go home because my mother-in-law is gone for like four months and this is my last day to really just like get all the Christmas shopping done because she was helping with the boys. So I had to use this time. And so I'm just like trying to disinfect myself as best as I can and just feeling like it was the most disgusting thing ever. I can't even tell you. Disgusting. So in the midst of all of this, my phone somehow fell out. I leave the store, paid for my stuff, went to go to my car, checked, ch wanted to check my phone and my phone's missing. And I'm like, oh crap, I could have said it anywhere. I'm going around the world market, like holding a video camera, just totally distracted. I could have totally just set it on a shelf because I was trying to set my camera up or something. No idea where it would have been. So I called the manager and I said, hey, I think I may have left it in the bathroom. And she said, is there a picture of a really cute little boy in glasses? And I was like, that's my phone. That's the last thing we need during Christmas is to replace a phone because phones are very expensive. And so I was so excited. It was there. I cleaned that thing off too when I got back to my car. We were, we were joined back together again. I was somewhat disinfected, but I was still completely disgusted. So you did not get to see that when, uh, during the shop with me and you are welcome for that, even though I just told you the story. Something else that happened during the shop with me. Do you see this right here? I got my nails done. Sorry, I have something in my eye. I got my nails done for the first time. I've never had this dip stuff before, but I wanted to have them done for family pictures. And they looked really good for like the first week or so. And then they started to lift like right here at the nail bed where it, your cuticle starts. And um, I could literally like lift them off my finger and see like a big gap. And I was really worried about water and stuff getting stuck under there. Well, I should have been worried about other things getting stuck and the nail getting ripped off. So it did psh, just ripped right off. So if you're watching me do this haul and you're like, what's up with her fingernails? Why does she have some like that? That's why, because you know, they ripped off and I'm not fancy, too fancy of a YouTuber where I'm like, you know, need to go have it done before I do a haul. So there, I need to eventually go get some stuff and soak it. I don't think I will ever do this again. I may never say never, but I have not been happy with how they've uh, handled themselves, how these nails have handled themselves these last couple of weeks. And for how long it takes and it's expensive, I just thought it was gonna last a little bit longer, but nope. Anyway, that's my little chat for you right now. I just wanted you to know that shopping trip was uh, very eventful. Poop pee water splattered all over me, a lost phone and ripped nails off, none of which you saw. Um, I fell a little bit behind uh, on Vlogmas last week after the whole shopping thing. I got home and I was just too tired to edit and then that kind of snowballed, but I'm gonna catch back up. So I'm actually recording this the day that you are watching it, um, but I have several other videos like already recorded and I just need to edit them. So I'm gonna, there's going to be a day, which I don't know if it's gonna be today or tomorrow, where I post two vlogs to make up for the day that I missed, but I will catch back up and I'll get back into um, schedule where I'm posting in the mornings because that seemed to really work out the best for me as well where I had it up first thing in the morning. So um, if you are liking Vlogmas, be sure to like this video. Leave a comment down below. I would love to chat with you. If you saw anything that you thought looked cool here that you might need to pick up, let me know. We can talk about it. What are you, you know, what are you getting people for Christmas? Whatever you want to talk about, friends. Let's talk in the comments section below. I'll see you guys later tomorrow. All right, bye.